We're back now at 742, and this morning on Today Investigates, a growing scam that preys on people who are looking to save a little money on their next car. NBC's Jeff Rawson is here with details on this. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning. We're always looking out for scams. This one caught our eye because police say it is the biggest auto scam going right now. A lot of us are looking to cut back, so instead of buying new cars, we're buying nice used cars. Now crooks are taking advantage and bilking car buyers out of billions of dollars. Stay police! It's the wake-up call you don't want to get. What's it like to have the police come to your door like this out of nowhere? It's shocking. <laughs> and this mother of three just got it. Faba Takis and her husband James are the victims of an elaborate auto scam. It's a nightmare. It's a total nightmare. Turns out the family SUV, the one they bought used through a newspaper ad four years ago, was stolen. And now, out of nowhere, the police are here to take it back. They said that the car had been stolen before I got it. But you and bought it legitimately. I bought it legitimately from a private party. But that doesn't matter. Today, the couple's kids have to clean out all their stuff on the spot before the police haul their car away. Thing is, this family did nothing wrong. They're one of thousands who bought used cars that looked like great deals and turned out to be real steals. How big is the scam? It's big. It's nationwide. It goes on all the time, all over. Police say the scam starts with that code snapped in the corner of your car's windshield. The vehicle identification number, or VIN. This is your car's identity, and thieves are using it to dupe innocent car buyers out of billions of dollars. It's called VIN cloning. Here's how it works. The thief steals a car, let's say this Nissan Murano, but they know when they try to sell it to you, the buyer, it'll come up stolen in the system. So here's how they get around it. They come to a public parking lot and find another Nissan Murano, same year, same color. They copy down that car's VIN number, located right here in the corner of the windshield. Then they make a fake VIN sticker and put the clean car's identity onto the stolen car. And voila, the stolen car looks legit. All right, we got one. We were there as the Illinois State Police and National Insurance Crime Bureau tracked down cloned cars. This is a fake uh, Vintech that we removed from the vehicle. And it looks real. It has the GM logo. It's metal. I mean, I would have no idea as a car owner that that's fake. Neither did the shocked owners. You're in possession of a stolen car, okay? Rich Chagoya couldn't believe it. He paid 30 grand for his low mileage Cadillac Escalade three years ago. I'm a regular everyday Joe Schmo, you know, I, you know, I go to work like everybody. But there goes his truck, along with the money he paid for it. There's actually two victims here. There's the victim who has the car stolen from them, and then there's the second victim who buys the fraudulent clone car, and we take their car. Investigators say crooks sell you these cars through classified ads in the paper and online. Sometimes they even trade the cars in to reputable dealerships where they end up for sale. The owner of this car bought it from a dealership. So this isn't just buying a car on the street. Sometimes the dealers are even fooled and, and sell the stolen car. Yes. In just the past several weeks, the FBI busted a major ring, recovering more than 1,000 clone cars worth over $25 million. And here's a secret clue to see if you've bought one. Okay. Look for sloppy errors on the sticker on your driver's door. On this car, the words conforms and standards are misspelled. A telltale sign, the car is cloned. This is a receipt for the vehicle. Now, as police impound their cloned car, the Patakis family has only one option, file a claim with their insurance company. Even then, they may never get back the $11,000 they paid for it. I'm left holding the bag. I mean, the, the, the police have my vehicle. What do I get? I get nothing. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Insurance companies usually do not reimburse victims because, like it or not, these are stolen cars. So if you're about to buy a used car, here are some quick tips to avoid some problems. First, beware of, of sellers offering a discount of 50% or more. Watch out, of course, if they want all cash, as usual, and especially if they want it quickly. And another good tip, before you buy the car, run it through a service like Carfax to get a complete history. Even still, there's no guarantee. No, well, what strikes me about that is in both the cases we just saw, in one case it was four years right. at, until they found the car, and three years. Why does it take police so long? Not that they're not trying, but why does it, why does it take so long? Because the criminal that's what makes this scam so genius. The criminals know there's actually a loophole in the system. The states do not talk to each other, the state DMVs, and so a crook knows they can steal a car in Illinois, 
make a fake VIN plate, and then register that car literally in four other states. Wow. And it takes police years to go through all the paperwork and to eventually find the car. And then, as you would say, voila. Voila. There you go. <laughs> Jeff Rawson, thanks very much.